Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the readings for the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. In this week's readings, the common denominator is the call. It's the call of God. And I want to start by asking you, have you ever been called by God? If you were called by God, how would you know it was God, and what is he calling you to? Every one of us is called by God, and we're called to conversion, we're called to uh, responsibility, we're called to action. We're called to do what he has purposed for us in our life. I love the readings this week because it really shows us the tone of his voice and how we can mistake his voice for even another human voice. The Old Testament reading is from Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 3, and starts off talking about a young boy who hears a call. He hears his name, and it's God who's calling him, but he thinks that it's a human voice. And he goes to Eli and he says, did you call me? He says, no, I didn't call you. And this takes place three times, three separate times. He hears a call and he mistakes it for a human. And on the fourth one, he responds, your servant hears. That's his response. And of course, the Lord speaks to him. And that's the beginning of Samuel's ministry. I think it's interesting because he thinks that it's a human voice when it was really God calling him all along. And I think that one of the problems that we run into in discerning if God is calling us and he is reaching into our life and he's pulling us into his will is that we say, well, I think it was just my own thoughts or, or maybe we, we heard somebody else speak and we thought the Lord is speaking to me there. And then we thought, well, it was just a coincidence. I think that we have to position ourselves in such a way that we are ready to hear his voice, not only uh, in our own thoughts, but in the words of others, maybe even a billboard or something that you hear on the radio. Maybe the Lord is calling you. Now in the New Testament, we see in John chapter one that Jesus chooses his disciples and he calls his disciples. And he calls his disciples not only to a relationship with him, but to a task, and that is to spread the gospel around the world. And I think it's interesting, the, the scripture that connects Samuel with John is 1 Corinthians, where Paul talks about how your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So it's interesting that this God who calls you to intimacy with him, this God who calls you to his will and carrying out his will, is also the God who is living inside of you. So the call of God naturally would come from within, that God is speaking to me and he has a mission for me. Now, for everybody, God is calling you to follow him. And the basic formula back in the New Testament times was that a rabbi would say to prospective disciples, Lech acharai, come follow me. And they had to make the decision whether they were going to follow him or not. And I hope that you have made that major decision to follow Jesus. But in the smaller things in life, the decisions about where to work, what to do, where to go to school, who are you going to marry, how are you going to spend your money, that you would learn to hear that voice of God. And one of the greatest ways that you can prepare to hear the voice of God is to spend time listening to him in general. And we call that reading the Bible. Lexio Divina is a wonderful way to tune yourself to the, the voice of God as every day you read scripture, whether it's the gospel or the Psalms or another book of your choice, you come to know his voice. And then throughout the day, when you hear him speak to you, you know that that fits with what you have been listening to and that very well may be God speaking to you not only to come into a relationship of intimacy, but the daily tasks that he is going to give you. So this is a beautiful reading this, this week, and I want to leave you with this thought. When you think that God is calling you to something new, he's calling you to a task, he's calling you to a ministry, he's calling you to reconciliation with somebody else, don't so easily just dismiss it as, that was my own voice, or that was just something I heard on the news, or that was something that I read on the billboard. Take a moment and ask, Lord, are you speaking to me? And if he is, get out of the boat, take a step, and walk in obedience. That's the way we grow, and that's the way we come to know the voice of the Lord. It was the fourth time for Samuel. For us, 
might be the fourth, but it might be the first. <laughs>